Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Kids Magic World and today I'm going to be showing you how I made 10th grade memory book or I can also call it as 10th grade yarn book. So let's get started. So first up I started collecting pictures from a school magazine and I took at least two pictures from each event and there are many events like annual day, LKG opening day, investiture ceremony, founders day, independence day, annual athletic meet, correspondence birthday, children's day, teachers day and commerce expo and I also cut out my English and Tamil article from the magazine and these are all the pictures and I also took pictures of school logo, teaching staff, 10 a 10 b class and subject teachers. I wanted to do something vintage so I thought of adding some color to the white sheets. So I added coffee to a mug of water and mixed it well. So I have these thick sheets and I think these are drawing papers. Those are not A4 sheets and I have these two trays. I poured the coffee mixture in the two trays. And I soaked the papers in the coffee mixture. So I wanted to get a coffee brown color on my papers because I felt the white was too plain and I didn't know what to do so I thought of doing this and I really hate the smell which was on the papers I really love coffee but the smell on the paper I really hated it after soaking I kept the papers to dry under the fan and I kept the papers under my bed because I felt like the papers were crumpled And here we go the papers are ready and I also soaked a thread in the coffee mixture because I wanted to tie those papers and unfortunately I didn't have a brown thread or a twine so I soaked it The sides looked uneven so I started trimming it so that it can be somewhat straight. I wanted to give an outline around the pictures so I stuck some pictures on a black paper and traced the outline of it and left some space so that it looks like the picture has an outline around it. But I was not sure whether black was the right color for the brown paper. I think I could have used something aesthetic colors. So I think black is not the right option. And now all the pictures are ready with their black outlines and next step I was planning it out before sticking the pictures on the booklet. I wanted to do something extra so I asked 
Google Gemini and it gave me some ideas like to add fun memories, challenges, things I learned during the period 2023 to 2024 and popular news at that time, popular slang terms, popular songs and I wanted to add something more like my ambitions and advice to my future self. So I added all those at the end of the booklet. My life is in this town and I am going down. You think that I am crazy, but I don't want to cry. I wanted to write something about my teachers, so I cut their photos from the magazine and stuck them. After sticking all the pictures, I wanted to take some extra pictures and uh, as I mentioned before, I wanted to write the popular news and popular songs at that time and I didn't have that much to write so I wanted to cover up the space by adding some pictures. So I started browsing for it and popular news is I only took three news which was India became the world's most populous country and about the ICC World Cup unfortunately India lost and the successful landing of Chandrayaan 3 which is a very proud moment for India. I actually didn't have space to write all these uh, sentences, you know, the news, so I wrote some keywords under the pictures. And I took some pictures of popular songs during that time Naredi, Ranjidame, Kavala, and Kachi Sera. And Naredi and Ranjidame are my favorites. I think Kachi Sera was released at the end of my year. I still remember some of my classmates singing it. So I think, I guess that counts. I think that comes under 2023 to 2024. My life is in this town. And here are the pictures. I also took extra pictures for sticking it in my room because every year I change, I take some printouts and change the look of my room and this time I chose Polaroid templates. I wanted to do something different this time. As I told you before, I wanted to do something vintage, so I thought of adding some extra details. So as you can see in this picture, around the bits of paper, you can see the brown tapes, right? So I wanted to do something similar to it in my booklet. So I used brown parchment paper, or you can also call it as baking paper. I tore it into small rectangular bits and stuck it around the corners of the pictures, just two corners. Instead of using scissors, I used my hands to tear it and I stuck it to get some imperfect and old look. Now for the writing part, I used black brush pen to write the name of the booklet. And then for writing the details, I used black gel pen to write all the descriptions and about the pictures and about my teachers and everything.
I really got bored of doing this for a long time so I started to do everything faster and I didn't have a good handwriting while doing this and I have a lot of things to do during the summer vacation and not only this. So I started filling in all the descriptions about the songs and my ambitions and advice to my future self. My ambitions are somewhere in the computer field like data scientist, graphic designer, digital artist and other things like English teacher, psychologist. My ambitions kept changing throughout the year so but I wanted to do something creative and advice to my future self is I shouldn't procrastinate, don't procrastinate, don't cry, regret, stress yourself and live happily, be honest, don't be afraid of the future and the last quote is the pain of hard work is less than the pain of regret. And then I wanted to underline the heading so I used a green highlighter to underline. I think I shouldn't have done this because it's a bad choice of color. And here we go. The memory book is done. So this is how I did my DIY project 10th grade memory book or urine book. This year was tough and yeah, the days went very fast and finally 10th grade is over. So now I can finally relax and do whatever I wanted to do without feeling guilty of not completing a work. The teachers put in a lot of efforts to make each and every student study well and get good marks and all their efforts are worth it. Every teacher did a wonderful job teaching everyone and I also observed one thing which is all the teachers who handled the previous classes seemed cool but strict but in 10th grade the same teachers who handled the previous classes seemed very serious and the classes were less fun when compared to my previous classes but anyways i think 10th grade was a scary roller coaster but thrilling and fun and these are the pictures of the booklet So guys, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share. Bye.